This is the most broken, overpowered ability I have ever seen in Madden, and you guys are definitely going to want to add it into your game immediately. If you're enjoying my YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out sportsgamers.com. This is where I post all my premium Madden 22 content. I have ebooks, offensive and defensive schemes, plus I do 4 to 6 premium tips every week in the Madden Vault. This content is available for both current and next gen, so no matter what system you play on, we got you guys covered. Our best offer yet is the Sports Gamers Madden VIP membership. This gives you access to the entire site, every tip, every ebook, plus the meta reports for only $19.99. I'll post a link to it in the description and the comments. Make sure to check it out for the best tips and content available at the best price anywhere. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Duke back here from sportsgamers.com and in today's Madden 22 tip video, I'm going to break down to you guys the most overpowered broken ability in the entire game in Madden 22. This is going to be an offensive tip video. This is something you're going to want to use in your offense no matter the playbook you use. This is something you can do no matter what your offense is. It's something all the best players are really using right now. It's a must have if you want to excuse me, win as many games as possible. So where the playbook does not matter and I'm just going to be in the Seahawks playbook for this example because the bunch tight end right now is extremely popular. Yes, I know Seahawks is not the only playbook with bunch tight end, but bunch tight end is one of the best ways to show what I'm about to break down, how to utilize it. So we got Lamar Jackson in this video and the reason for that is I want to break down how truly unstoppable escape artist is right now and why you have got to have it in your game because it allows you to glitch contains, and I'm about to show you guys how to do that. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. The play really doesn't matter. Uh, we're just going to pick PA boot over. And as a reminder, guys, if you enjoy my YouTube content, if you're new to the channel, I do daily Madden 22 videos from tips, gameplays, news. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment. All that stuff helps me out a lot, and I'd love to get 250 likes on this video. Come on, guys. Show the love. It's Christmas time. Anyway, let's get into it now. Uh, and we're going to just move the ball back, give ourselves some space to work with. And I want to just explain why this is so crazy. So first off, I want to break it down. It's against a little containing rush. Y'all know what it is right here. So very common defense all year long. And what most people do with this to make it just extremely OP is, I mean, first of all, you don't have to do this, but most people will block their tight end. And then depending upon the side they want to roll out to, what they're going to do is they're going to slide protect that side. So say we block the tight end here, we're going to slide protect to the right. Now you don't have to have the running back blocked. You can send them out on the route if you want. But what you guys are going to notice is that these contains, they don't do anything. Um, and this is just something that you're going to see when you slide protect that regardless of the, the defense, it does not matter. Um, unless they know a very glitchy way to play, which most people don't on defense, you're going to be able to get around this pretty easily. All right, now let's look at this against pinch two, a very popular defense. Uh, you don't necessarily have to roll out to the side that you slide protect, but it is best to consistently try to do that. So if we block the tight end and slide protect right, we don't necessarily have to roll out that way. We can, but this time I'm going to show you that you can even roll out left against uh, blitzing corners you guys can see here as soon as he gets latched on we can just roll out and we're gone um the reason why this works and a lot of people use this with right now the most popular quarterback i'd say to use this with is randall cunningham is because not the escape artist it's just for the ap points you spend it is so op um you you basically have an extremely fat i mean you could do this even with quarterbacks that aren't quite as fast as Cunningham, and just because of the escape artist, it still works. Because it basically gives you a 99 speed quarterback with escape artists, is what it feels like. And you guys can see that they they just don't have the um they just don't have the uh, the speed really to chase you down, even when they have the angle. So the thing that's really stupid about this whole situation right now with escape artists is even when people blitz their whole team and you have multiple multiple guys coming free. If you know how to just step up in the pocket and wait for the rushers to engage before you roll out, 
you're getting free yardage. It doesn't matter if you contain or not. And that makes what I just showed even worse is that the contains don't play well, even when they're on blitzing corners. So you guys can see here, I slide this guy in to make sure he's the one on the contain. And yet still we have the same exact problem. He gets sucked in. We just wait for him to engage and we're out of here. Um, and this is not just limited to PA boot over. This is something that is prevalent in pretty much any formation. It's just that that's one of the more popular ones right now. I mean, if you go to just a basic doubles and find a play that you want to do the same thing with, uh, you very well can. Uh, we could do this with PA read, and you're going to notice the same thing. So another pretty common thing right now is this DB fire. And this just destroys DB fire. We block our tight end. Simple play like this with a rollout design, take off, and it's just free yardage. There, there's, there's nothing worse than being able to just outrun blitzers left and right like this. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering, is this just Lamar Jackson? And it definitely is not just Lamar Jackson. Any quarterback with escape artists, this is going to work well. And another thing I want to point out here is that this is not just scrambling off the corner. You can very easily take off up the middle against a lot of these defenses because most people are going to try to send outside pressure if they see you doing this. And like all you got to do really is wait for it to get blocked like it did here. However, when you see these three down line formations that have so much room up the middle, taking it off up the middle renders all the edge rushers anyways pointless as you guys can see you get more free yardage, more free yardage. Now, the craziest part about this is even when people start to get crazy and blitzing their whole team, uh, it's like a lot of times it still doesn't work. So, I mean, you could see someone try to do something like this to where they have malt, like, you know, corners coming and, and whatnot. It still is very, very, very iffy on being able to stop, stop this. So, look, this is a corner blitz, right? Um, you would think a corner blitz would s slow this down very well. But the truth of the matter is, it's really not, as you guys can see here. Same thing happens. I'm able to get to the edge, and at this point, it's just do I want to throw my crosser or not? Even if you add another blitzer into the equation, you're going to see that it's just not going to happen. Uh, the ability Lamar has makes this even crazier because, you know, once he gets lit up, he's, he has no chance of fumbling. You guys can see here, take hit sticks all day long. Lamar is definitely another quarterback you can do this with in Mutt. Personally, though, I feel that Lamar Jackson is not as good in Mutt as Cunningham. Cunningham, to me, is the better option. As you guys can see again, look look how easily we, we, we break the contain with Escape Artists. And it's just the simple fact is right now, defenders are not fast enough to keep up with Escape Artists. Even when they're on contains, when you got these quarterbacks that have Escape Artists, like specifically Randall Cunningham, um... Your defenders just, even if they have an angle, they're not fast enough. Now, the other thing a lot of people are doing with this that makes it even more crazy is using dead eye traits or, excuse me, dead eye abilities on the quarterback, like roaming, so that not only are they scrambling like crazy, like I'm doing in this video, but also when they are scrambling, they're not just having the threat to run, but they're throwing these passes really on the money. And I think roaming is probably the best one to do. Because it's kind of glitched to where if you just, you know, you can be sprinting out of the pocket, let go of the sprint button, and Roman's going to uh, pretty much activate, and it's going to throw lasers on the run. Uh, that is probably the most amplified way of using this tip. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you want to win in Madden 22 right now, you need to be using an escape artist quarterback. Uh, I even... I'm starting to use one just because of how dominant it is and I'm not even I'm, I'm more so a pocket passer but I just see what the way the game is it's that good you got to use it till next time it's